One player you mentioned there, which we have to talk about, is of course um, our magician Merlin, the best player that I've ever seen in a Manchester City shirt, David Silva. Jolene, you played with him, and you, you, I think you're the only person I've met who has played with him. What, <laughs> what is he like <laughs> to play with? It's, it's still not, it's not explainable unless you've actually felt the the difference that he plays the game at the speed like. Whatever you're good at, whatever industry, work of life you feel you are good at, his attribute is, is time. So I believe that 1v1, I could understand the body position or body shape of a, of, the, of the forward and you kind of read the way he was going. He just must have seen the game so slow. Have you seen, um, what's the film I would say, The Wild, when the squirrel takes the Red Bull and he's going <laughs> through the house and everything's in slow motion and he's just like... <laughs> That's David Silva. He must see the game so slow. But it's just like going on around him. He's like, okay, let me just get it here and I'll turn there and I'll pass it there and I'll get it back. Because you've got to think, I don't think I've seen anyone tackle him. I think he gives the ball away now, now and again. But I don't think he's ever in a position where someone closes him down or someone's close enough to, to tackle him. Now, that's playing with him. What about against him? Because you did face him five times, yeah. and I'm going to blow you up a little bit here, because <laughs> Man City beat you four of those yeah, times yeah, when yeah. he was playing. Yeah, as expected. But then, with England, you did beat him, there uh, you go. his uh, Spanish team. Um, but what is it like playing against him? Because, as you said, he sees everything differently, and there's a reason why we say he can get so much space. He can find space in every opportunity. But also, there's a reason why we say that he can play all of these passes, and he is the magician. Oh, he's touch is remarkable um his ability to just absorb the ball it's like his foot is a pillow it's like how hard you hit the ball at him it's just soft it, it just it just relaxes on his foot and that game when um i'll talk about the england game when we won there was him iniesta and xavi in midfield what? and he was up front <laughs> he, he was playing up front there was no there was no striker this is when he used to play up front for spain and i, I couldn't get near any of them like and it was rotating and I'm thinking let me go and try and step in and it was just like nah just like we're not we're here but we're not really here so just get away from us and it was just like you play with these there's people like you there's <laughs> 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 others like you that was crazy you know what though listening you kind of go when you mention three players like that actually go well done for even playing against them <laughs> yeah. you, know I mean? you lasted the we game won. we won yeah one you nil. did win you did win <laughs> um, there's a great I can't remember who said it but it's always stuck with me where someone described David Silva talking about him was going um, you couldn't tackle him in a phone box no I love literally, that. literally he injured me and he had the ball <laughs> Like, he's got the ball in training, and, he, and he's, tr he's just it's pivoted. And as I said, this is how we must see it so slow. He's just turned, and I've tried to mimic his movement, because obviously he's got the ball. And I've realised I, I can't do it that smooth or that fast. And he, I've I had to come off injured. I've had to say, now nah, that hurt that, I'm coming off. When you've got players like that in your team, you must be full of so much confidence of who's in front of you, when they've got the ball, actually, that you feel like, well, they're going to create something. They're going to create that moment of magic. They're going to be there for you when you need them in those dying minutes of a game when you do need a goal. And it must just make you watch this game and go, wow, this is incredible. 100%. Like, I talked about Yaya, and he'd be the best player because he wins you the game. But the best footballer, definitely David Silva. Mm. And, and there's a difference between the two. And what people don't recognise, when David first come, we played 4 4 2, and he was playing on the left wing, and he was just yeah. creating a new way to play left winger or left midfield, even. Mm. He used to come in and he used to say to me, When you get the ball here, pass it there. I will be there by the time the ball gets there. And I was like, huh? that, that doesn't really make sense. And he used to be <laughs> in behind someone. I'd look down to pass it. And I could just see him moving, and he would just, and I'd just pass it there, and he would just receive it, and I'd be like, exactly what, whatever he told me to do, just pass it there. As long as it gets past him, I'll be there to pick it up. He, he feels like one of those players we talked about, Edison, before, you know, changing the, the role of the goalkeeper. It felt like he came in and changed the role of, of what an attacking midfielder was, and, and that first goal of his against Blackpool just summed it up perfectly, I think. I think, yeah, did. definitely. I think he had a slowish start. But I think, in fairness to him, that was off the back of a World Cup win. So you oh, can't, yeah, he course. missed pre-season, so that kind of played catch-up. And then he come, and obviously, I think that's when he kick-started his, his kind of career at City. Because I think that's probably the most animated we've seen David Silva ever. And it's a goal. In, imagine what he's achieved since he's been here. And the most animated we've seen him is a goal against Blackpool away from how he took off his shirt <laughs> and spun yeah. it around. So I think that was a bit of relief for him as well. Yeah. But we'd seen it. There was, me and Sean did probably question when he first arrived, was he going to be able to play in the Premier League due to the way he wanted to play and the way the Premier League was? But 
there's no question now that he, he will go down in Premier League history. People talk about his size, people talk about his stature, people talk about actually him as a person, but then they said you might not be able to do it in the Premier League. And now look at him, 10 years later, he could, we could make the argument that he's the greatest midfielder we've ever seen in the Premier League. Definitely, I think because the consistency, uh, again, I don't not necessarily say he's done things we haven't seen. He's, he hasn't done anything else. He's only done that. He's only played well. He hasn't been a spell where you fought in his, in his arrest. And he's had things that have happened in his life that have kind of impacted that. And he's impacted his training. And he, well, I'm here to play football. Um, and as I said, he doesn't want no attention. So that's probably why he doesn't get the recognition he deserves. And that assist against Manchester United oh, uh, on the turn, the, the volley for Dzeko, I think it was, was just... Wow. I've never looked at someone and said, well, what's he going to do? And then he pulls that out of the bag and you didn't expect it. Nobody saw it. And then he scored that goal. The, the, the thing is, what was crazy is that him and probably Edin had the, an understanding that he didn't have with Sergio. He doesn't have with Sergio. They just had a crazy understanding. Oh, and really? Yeah. Edin loved when he played in the middle. And he loved, obviously, David loved to play there. But he didn't play there that often as we would have liked to in, in the early years. But he just, they just had a mad understanding. And Edin used to make runs. And David was, had the capability to find him. So that pass didn't surprise us. But the technique shown is, is remarkable. It's outrageous. If you ever just want to cheer yourself up, just put in a David Silva highlight reel. <laughs> Two, five, ten minutes, you'll have there's, the there's best There's a game time. that I probably people don't remember. We played Inter Milan in the, uh, in the pre-season. The year we won the league, that game, that was the game when we knew he was different to everyone else. He played actually number ten, and it was like, and that was the Inter team that had done stuff. Yeah. They'd gone out, I think they'd won the treble, and we beat them. But in that game, him alone, he, he plays a pass in that game. I don't even think the pass is as width, the angle is as wide as the ball. So I don't even know how it got through there, but it's remarkable. 